Hey folks, uh, VM Explorer here, and today's uh, quick topic is going to be expanding the Drive Store to Pro. So we're in Control Center here, and uh, it's a simple process of going into uh, Control Center, then launching the web interface for the Drive Store to Pro, getting into the volume, and then actually expanding it. And their, their instructions are actually pretty good uh, that are built in. So let's take a look. All right, so let's log in here going into the drive store to pro okay a little warning and we go into storage manager okay we're going to click on volume because that's what we want to work with now i've uh, already set up this volume it's about a 450 gig volume it has two drives in it that are uh, what they call 500 gig drives of course they're not quite that size but what we're going to do is we're going to update this to uh three terabyte uh, a piece Okay, so all we've got to do is click on management and follow the prompts. It already knows we can't add more drives. We can't do a RAID 5. The drive store 2 is 2 Pro is 2 disks. So I can't put more disks in. So I can't expand the RAID. The only option here for me to do is replace existing disks in volume 1 with larger ones. So click on next. And hey, look at this. The instructions are actually provided to you. Tell you exactly what to do. How convenient is that? Okay, so... Uh, listed below are the procedures for expanding the volume capacity. Remove the old disk and then replace it with a new one. The NAS will begin to synchronize the data to the new disk. After synchronization for the new disk is completed, follow the instructions found in the status field for replacing the next disk. After all disks have been replaced, click on expand capacity button to expand the volume capacity. After clicking on finish, please proceed to replacing the first disk. Afterwards, follow the instructions in the status field for replacing the rest of the disks. Pretty simple process. So let's click finish. Okay, I'm going to pause the video, go add in that disk, and then we'll make the next step. All right, so the new disk has not been inserted yet. But what I wanted to alert you to is before, if you remember, the screen said, please insert a new disk. But what's now going on is I haven't inserted the new disk yet okay and it's showing as degraded which that's what we ex would expect it to do so you can see here it's saying please replace the disk right so let's see if we can expand this a little bit please replace so it realizes that that 500 gig drive is now missing it actually shows the the picture of it right shows you which one it is i love that feature <laughs> absolutely love that but it shows me exactly which one it is in the device absolutely love that so now all I've got to do is insert that three terabyte drive and make the next step. So let's get that disk in now. All right, so the new disk is in. Let's give it a second here to get caught up. There it goes, it got it. Okay, and you can see right there it's rebuilding. And now it's going to go through its rebuild phase. And then when we're done with this, we'll end up replacing the other disk. And before you know it, we'll have basically a 2.73 terabyte uh, RAID 1 partition. So I'm going to pause the video, allow it to finish synchronizing. Uh, once it's done, then we'll take the next step. All right, and the magic of video editing. Hey, look, uh, we're two hours into the future, <laughs> almost. So it took about uh, almost two hours, just shy of that, to uh, finish synchronization. And it's just about done doing the rebuild right now. As you can see right here, it's showing 99%. Uh, okay, so now it's ready to go. So now it's saying, okay, hey, you need to do the next step. Please replace the disc with the larger one. Okay, it would be nice if it would say which drive it wanted you to replace, but I think we get the point here. It's showing us right here. There's only two disks in here, right? So uh, number two is finished and we're going to put in number one. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stick in the second disk and then we'll continue on. All right, the next disk is inserted and you might hear it uh, beeping back there slightly as it takes a second to recognize that next drive. And it may take it a few seconds or so, but eventually it'll get it. Oh, there it is. It got it. All right. So it knows it's there, right? And it's going to take it a second and it should start doing its rebuild. And there it goes. So it's going to finish doing a rebuild. Again, it's probably going to take about another hour or two. We'll see how quick uh, this one goes. 
uh, will allow it to finish rebuilding these drives and get through this and then we'll uh, wrap up this video they're showing an estimated time here right now i just noticed that it's kind of handy right uh, let's see so as it's moving up it's showing about uh, 50 minutes or so estimated so i guess we'll we'll see how accurate that is as this uh, moves along all right and we're back so it took almost exactly an hour um, this information here was pretty helpful as I was watching it go through you could see it saying there's like 20 seconds remaining left to go and ticking down so it took uh, about an hour and give or take 10 minutes I think initially it said 56 minutes so that's a pretty good estimate I'm not gonna complain about that that's uh, pretty darn pretty darn close all right so we're just down to the final dots of percentage and then we'll move on to the next step which will be, I believe we're gonna say expanding the capacity. There it is, yeah. So please click expand capacity to expand volume one. All right, so let's locate that and move it forward. Okay, so uh, it took it about a minute, not even a minute, maybe a few seconds or so. And then the expand capacity uh, button finally showed up. If you noticed there before, a few seconds ago, it wasn't there, abort and remove were the only two that were available. I simply clicked on this button here and then pushed the down arrow. It kind of made it refresh and then expand capacity button appeared. So let's click on that. Okay. And now it's going through a synchronization process again and getting its uh, size all figured out. So let's take a look and see the estimate now. Um, okay. <laughs> it's estimating at uh, 11 hours to uh, figure this out and synchronize the size but you can see the the size is is growing uh you know quite quickly we were at uh, uh 400 meg before we're over a terabyte right now and i'm sure as this goes on this is counting up pretty quick i think that estimate is uh yeah it's already starting to fall off right it's uh moving down and i can hear the drives back there working as it goes through this so let's let this finish up and then we'll go through some final steps and we'll wrap this up all right, and we're back. And the synchronization is completed, which is good. Uh, everything is in a good state, no faulty uh, drives. Everything's in green, one faulty drive tolerated, detected. So that means it's a RAID 1 group, right? One, we can, fault, we can uh, survive one failed drive. Uh, but what is uh, interesting is, is there's no statistics on how long it took, and that's okay. Uh, they're probably in the logs. So we just have to look there. If you remember, we had that nice little icon right here that kind of showed us the estimated time. Originally, this synchronization was somewhere around 11 hours to complete its task. And as it went on, it kind of trickled down to about six, seven, eight hours, somewhere in that range. But what I really like to know is when did it happen? Because it's tomorrow now. I let this run overnight, let it finish its job, and now we just got to figure that out. So in the upper right hand corner where this little dial is, is actually the tools uh, bar, right? So if you click on it, you get all these nice little tools pop up. And to get them to pop up, you hit the plus mark right here and choose which widget you want. I chose them all because they're all handy information. <laughs> A lot of great stuff in ADM. So if we look here real quick, we can kind of see, you know, quick CPU and memory stats, quick LAN stats, which are handy, right? Storage manager information. And hey, look, important logs. We can even see which users are online or connected. But important logs is what we're looking for. And there's nothing here right now that I'm interested in. This is the most important stuff, not informational, right? This is the most important things that are going on. So if I want more information, I click the up arrow right here and there it is. So, hey, look, I can see right there, it completed the synchronization around 1238 last night. And if I scroll down a little bit, there's my login name, admin executed, volume one expanded file system for volume one expanded so i started about 5 40. it finished about 12 40 ish right very close so it took a little under seven hours to complete its task and if we go down further we can start to see where we started this right we started our journey here right about 4 30 last night when we removed that first disc so we can see from that point all the way through, nice, easy, easy to understand logs, nothing encrypted, <laughs> right? Very simple, easy to understand logs here that help you finish up what you're doing. All right, one last thing I wanna show you. These steps were good. 
uh, and we did them step by step here. But if you're interested in the documentation version, that's this link right here. And all the steps I did today are listed there and it'll take you step by step. Asus store has a great college, they call it for the raid a lot of great, easy to understand, easy to use documentation. I mean, it's very clear. It couldn't, what could be more clear than a big purple box highlighting something for you, right? And they do that really well in their documentation. It's one thing I like about their products. Uh, as they evolve here more and more, they're doing a really good job with documentation and usability. It's something they're really strongly focused on. I'll put that link in the comments for you. If you want to follow along with that, you can as you go through your drive expansion. I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if there's anything else you need, just reach out, leave a comment. Would love to hear from you. Maybe there's a topic you want me to do on this. Feel free to comment away. Would love to hear more. Thank you so much, everyone. Do hit subscribe below and have a great day.